Today we're going to be rooting figs and sand in a plastic container with a lid. Always keep your fig cuttings moist. This I'm going to be using some rooting hormone. Not affiliated by anybody, but just some cheap rooting hormone I got from Big Box Store. You can also use aloe, cinnamon, and honey as a rooting hormone. Each one of those is a natural root hormone. It promote a uh, root growth and healthy roots. Oh, uh, I forgot to admit to uh, I, usually when I'm soaking my cuttings, I use only put a little dab of uh, peroxide off in my cup because you know it's a, it'll sterilize and it, prom it promote uh, root growth too. So just a little chip I use. You want to scrape down to the cambium layer. Make sure you got the eyes facing up before you start scraping because you don't want to scrape off the top. So eyes facing up. And you want to have at least three three eyes on each cutting. Just dip, dabbing it in the root hormone, chopping it around on the side. Make sure I coat, coat the whole part that I shaved down. This variety that we're rooting here is a uh, Violet de Bardot's. I think I ended up with something like 49 that I put in this tote right here. I'm showing right here the eye how many eyes you should have on your cuttings at least three at least three eyes on each cutting this is a new method i'm trying indoors over winter to root these feed cuttings i'm rooting them off in this container a little cheap container you can get from any big box store it's a clear container whatever size you choose i think this one is maybe five inches deep and it's got a, contain, a lid to go over top of it and all I do is mist down the soil and put the top on it and put it in a south side window or, or up under a light so it keeps that humidity up and been having good results from it showing how your eyes should be facing upward. This is a new method of a sand that I've seen that I want to try for rooting them in sand. So it seems like it'd be an easier way to not to damage your roots when you're pulling them out. And easier for the roots to push through. No holes are in in this container because I want to keep the humidity in, so I don't put. Now that I got all the cuttings with the root hormone on it, no holes in the jug. I want to keep the humidity in there. So I'm just gonna mix it down with some water on top of the cuttings all around in the sand, just get it that. Put the top on it and set it over here under the grow lights and check it about every other day or so. Let's see when I got roots. Yeah, so that's how I root my cuttings. Thank y'all very much. Thank y'all for tuning in. Once again, it's Olden Homestead down here in Growing Zone 7A, 7B now. Growing my passion. Y'all say bless.